Hello data pros, welcome to our new series on Apache Airflow. In this short video, we'll talk about what Airflow is. See why it's so popular. Understand the basic concepts such as DAGs, tasks, and operators. Break down its architecture and core components. And finally, explore the use cases where Airflow excels. Let's begin right away. Apache Airflow is an open-source platform that empowers data professionals to efficiently create, schedule, and monitor tasks and workflows. You may be wondering why Airflow is gaining so much popularity. Well, there are a few key reasons. Airflow uses Python, a language already familiar to data professionals. It offers many plug-and-play operators, which allows you to define workflows that span across cloud services like AWS, Azure, GCP, Snowflake, Databricks, and even on-premises servers. With seamless integration with cloud computing resources and Kubernetes services, Airflow is designed for limitless scalability. It comes with a rich web user interface that makes it easy to visualize, monitor, and troubleshoot your workflows. Airflow is open source and cost-effective, making it the ideal choice for many organizations. With millions of users and thousands of contributors, it's on a path of continuous growth. When working with Airflow, you'll frequently encounter the term DAG, which stands for Directed Acyclic Graph. DAG is a fundamental concept in Apache Airflow and serves as a representation of a workflow. Directed refers to the fact that dependencies between the tasks have a specified direction. Acyclic means there are no cycles, so you cannot execute one task and later return back to the same task. A graph is a diagram that consists of nodes and edges, where nodes represent tasks and the edges represent dependencies. Here is a sample Airflow DAG. As mentioned earlier, DAGs are written in Python. DAG consists of one or more tasks. Each task is created by using an operator. An operator is an abstraction that defines what needs to be done in a task. Furthermore, the parameters defined within the operator enable you to customize the task according to your requirements. Tasks are connected by dependencies, indicating the order in which they should be executed. DAG can also have a schedule, which specifies when the DAG should be executed. Let's explore how this DAG appears in the Airflow user interface. Everything we've defined programmatically in Python is now visible in the UI as expected. Let's move further and understand the core components in the Airflow architecture. Web server serves the web user interface that allows users to monitor and manage workflows. Database is used to store metadata about workflows, tasks, and their dependencies. It also stores the status of your workflows and tasks, such as running, failed, or succeeded. The scheduler is responsible for scheduling your workflows to run. It frequently pulls the database for new or modified DAGs and accordingly sends them to executor. Executor is responsible for receiving tasks from the scheduler, assigning them to workers, and monitoring their execution. Workers are the compute layer that runs the tasks. They are responsible for fetching tasks from the executor, completing them as defined, and finally reporting their status back to the executor. Based on the specified operator and parameters, workers complete the desired task by interacting with respective data platforms and services. Let's explore a real-world use case of Airflow. Airflow can be used for nearly any batch data processing workflow. Its extensive library of operators and exceptional extensibility make it particularly powerful in orchestrating workflows spanning multiple systems with complex dependencies. The diagram that you see illustrates a sample use case that can be achieved with Airflow. Despite involving a diverse set of tools and technologies, Airflow can serve as a unified workflow management solution for both orchestration and monitoring. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll demonstrate how to set up Airflow on your local machine to kickstart our Airflow development journey. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.